Hey guys, today with me I have Patrick Uterhoven from Open Future. Thank you. Welcome, Patrick. Tell us a bit about yourself and Open Future. Like you said, my name is Patrick. I work for Open Future. Um, I started for the company like I think about two, uh, no, 10 years ago. Um, they were looking for someone who wanted to do monitoring. Specifically monitoring. Yeah, monitoring because one of the um, people left the company and he was like working with Zabbix. Oh, but even at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We were, I think we were even one of the first training partners from Zabbix, so it, it goes back a while. Um, but I was working with Nagios, some other monitoring tool, not so famous, but uh, yeah. so I, I had some experience, but not with Zabbix. So they asked me to become like a Zabbix trainer to replace the other guy. Mm -hmm. And so I came to Riga uh, together with Dimitri and, and, and yes. Alain. Um, and we had like the training for trainers and I worked myself in with Zabbix. Mm -hmm. And yeah, during the 10 years, I think I started with like 1.8 in that time. Yeah, a while back, yeah, a while yeah, back. Yeah. So yeah, I just worked myself in into Zabbix. And since then, I have to say, I, I never looked back to the other monitoring tools. That's I really great, got, right? Uh, I really got sucked up in the Zabbix ecosystem. So it, mm -hmm. it really works. I, I think it works very well. It's, it's open, you can modify everything. So yeah, it, yeah, there are yeah. tons of benefits. It's yeah. free. Yeah, yeah, of course, it's, it's free. free. Um, that's, yeah, for Open Future, very important because we're an open source company. We ah, work. so it's, it's most everything yeah. you do is... is yeah, we work exclusively with open source products. Um, we're also focusing on trainings, uh, meaning that we are focusing not like giving trainings that are we make by ourselves, but focusing on trainings that are official trainings. Mm -hmm. uh, because we always do like, we make a partnership with a company that is providing a product and we follow their training. So we like Zabbix, guarantee that, yeah, like Zabbix. Yeah. So Zabbix is for us a perfect fit. Mm -hmm. um, so besides monitoring, we also do like backup. Um, for this, we have like Bakula, we have like Puppet, we're mm -hmm. an official Puppet trainer as well. Uh, so we have like a few uh, training Jacks courses. Jacks of all we, trades, yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, and today with you, we wanted to discuss, <clears throat> you presented me essentially with the use mm -hmm. case that you wanted to talk about. Um, and before we get to it, I'll do a brief introduction. So in the past couple of versions, for a while now, Zabbix has been making a heavy focus on tags yeah, right indeed. and maybe if you are let's say not quick to adopt new things you may be wondering how can i actually use tags like, okay you can filter with them right yeah you can filter and is that them. it is no there is much more that there is much do. more so yeah. patrick the floor is yours go ahead well actually it was interesting because it was uh, just introduced in zabbix um, so tags were just introduced of course we, we waited like one version so that it was maturing a bit but uh, in this case, it was a perfect fit because the customer in this case, he had like configured it everything by itself. And they were yeah, like having actions like pages of pages of actions. Yes. And when we came there to do the consulting, it was always like, can you change this action? Because this guy is getting an alarm from this server, but he does not want yeah. it. It has to be to someone else. Because what I always try to do is tell a client like, you know, this team is responsible for what kind of server. And then we mm -hmm. just send this message from this server to this team, and then it's easy to map. But in that case, it was like not a small company, but they mm -hmm. were like, we have developers who are responsible for this application on this server and from that application on that yeah. server. And then we have like the, the infra team who is available for this server, responsible for that server. And I was like, guys, this is a mess. We cannot do it like this. If, if, if you want to change something, I have to look through all the actions and I will change something and it has an yes. impact on something else. And I was like, look, they have introduced tags. Let us work with tags. And they were like, what is it? And I was like, look, we can put tags on items and we can put tags on the user groups and let us put users in groups and link them with the tags to all the items. So we made templates and we were like in the templates on our items looking like this is an operating system thing. Mm -hmm. Let us put a tag on it. And this is an application thing. Let us put another tag on it. Mm -hmm. And then we linked it with the users in the groups. Yeah. And now we are like, we just can say this user will see only a certain application on a certain server. Yeah. And they see the only tags. what yeah. is relevant, yeah. essentially. And for this them. was exactly what they needed because now they can easily say, okay, we have like a development team and they are responsible for an application mm -hmm. and it doesn't even matter on what server it is. It's just linked with a tag. Yeah. So they will get the relevant information. And before it was always like, we have to create something. And then they were like, oh, but yeah, we still need this and we still need that. 
Mm -hmm. And now it's quite easy. You just put the right text on the templates, you link it with the server, and the right team will get the information yeah. that is needed. But uh, do the teams actually use Zabbix itself? Do they log into the front end or is it just uh, emails? They, or they are just using the front end and some people just use the emails. So uh, it's a mix. Yeah, we do the consulting part, so we create everything for them mm -hmm. because they are not really into Zabbix. For them, it's just a tool yeah. to get notifications. And of course, you have like a NOC team. There is an overview screen. So they, of course, have like admin access so they can see everything. Mm -hmm. But for all the other teams, they just get the notifications in their email box. Some tickets are being created automatically, yeah. but they don't really care about it. For them, it's just a tool. They just need the relevant information and that's mm -hmm. it. Uh, have you seen, just speaking of maybe you have an opinion, we have changed the way we structure our templates. It was probably 6.0, I think. Mm -hmm. So templates now have templates and, and, and items and triggers. They have sort of predefined set of tags mm -hmm. where it's sort of what kind of trigger yeah. it is, what kind of item, yeah. for example, like you said, application yeah. or OS or something like that. And they're standardized. And I always say this, so I'll remind everyone, Zabbix, when you're upgrading Zabbix, templates do not get automatically upgraded. So you have to go to git.zabbix.com download the latest templates, yeah. import them, and then you'll see what I'm talking about if yeah. you're not mm -hmm. seeing it yet. So what do you think about that kind of thing? I like think it's good. Items, I mean, yeah. it's, it's a great start if, if yeah. you start with Zabbix. Um, but what we personally do is, of course, I, I take a look at the templates because for me it's always interesting what has Zabbix done with the templates. Yeah. Maybe you have like a new ID that I didn't think about before. Mm -hmm. Um, but personally, I always keep the templates and I don't touch them. And for my clients, I always create a custom set of templates yes. so that I can easily upgrade the Zabbix templates, have a look at them, and then just take over what I need and put it. Yeah, yeah. Pick individual yeah. items, maybe outdoor yeah. discovery exactly. rules or something yeah. like that. Th that makes sense, of yeah. course, because that's the reason why we don't update them automatically. Yeah. We don't want to overwrite right. everything that you've uh, already had. And which version, uh, if it's not a secret, is the customer running? Um, they are still running on 5.2. Um, not supported, not supported anymore. anymore, yes. But I'm going to upgrade them soon. Uh, they, were waiting, they were waiting for yeah 6.0 because they were waiting for 6 because 5.4 had like the latest data issue. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So it, it was like, just let's just skip it because we still have to upgrade it anyway because it's not supported. Uh, so we were just like, 5.2 is workable for you. 5.0 was not so workable with text for them. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we were like, just stay on 5.2, wait till 6 comes out, and then we have like the latest data page that is like more workable than it was in 5.4. So we are going to upgrade them soon yeah. to 6.0. And uh, speaking of, of permissions and tags, uh, do you utilize user roles at all in that environment? In that environment, we don't use the user roles. Uh, it makes sense to me, like it's, it's, you, you might restrict, you know, access to some UI elements or something like that. Yeah, but um, there are still some caveats in, five dot, uh, in, in, in the user roles, sorry. Uh, yeah. like, um, you can, for example, uh, create a user uh, with higher permissions and then take the permissions back with the roles. Right. And for example, yeah, 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 what, what yeah. we encounter is like, you want to give someone access to read the templates so they can see what templates are available, but not modify them. Yes. But still it's not possible. You still yeah. need to give right yeah. access and then they can do too much. Yeah. So okay. there are that certain, makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe down the line when you upgrade and things get improved, then it would yeah. make sense implementing roles and, and having course. them more with, granular. With other customers, we already use roles. And I think that roles are going to replace the, the system that we have now. Mm -hmm. uh, with the admin, the super admin, etc. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it so. does make sense. It's a very extremely powerful yeah. feature, especially like you said, in environments where you have many teams, many literally exactly. different roles, yeah. and some need to have admin access, but mm -hmm. restrict it yeah. a bit. So roles have been a great feature. What about maybe LDAP or some other kind of integration for logging in? LDAP, of course. is LDAP. Uh, yeah. So 6.2 also will be potentially beneficial to you guys with multiple LDAP support. Uh, it's not yet in 6.0. 6.2. 6.2, yeah. yeah. But usually we try to stay on LTS. So uh, 7.0 yeah. is when you... Yeah. Um, I don't think I have like a use case at the moment for uh, multiple LLAPs, but what we still, uh, what we do use, uh, for example, is, um, yeah, of course, LLAP, but um, the SSO integration. Um, mm -hmm. There are many clients now, uh, customers who want to have like SSO, and that is something many that Many people use, want that, yeah, I think. That we yeah. use already. Um, so that is certainly something mm -hmm. that, we, that we really like in Zobbix. So yeah, I think we'll, down the line, we're probably going to see more authentication related yeah. improvements in changes 6.2, 6.4, 7.0. So that's something. The automatic user creation, group creation. Yes, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I, I know yeah. what you're talking about, LDAP and groups yeah. and synchronization. Yeah, it's definitely been an ongoing mm -hmm. uh, 
conversation and we'll hopefully see it sometime relatively soon. Okay, thank you for a great use case. I think to those who haven't looked at tags, like your uh, customer, yeah. now they have a reason to, hey, maybe I should take a second look yeah. and maybe tags can be a lot more useful than just filtering, right? Yeah, of course. Certainly. Definitely. Yeah, thank you, Patrick, and I hope I'll see you during the summit in um, October. I'm going on holiday in September, but when oh. I return, there is still a few weeks left. So exactly. It should be possible. Maybe you'll visit here, Riga, and, and then we can have another conversation or interview, yeah. have another great use case for us, and we can talk about it. All right, thank you, and okay. I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Bye.